This week, Tesla announced major price cuts to almost every single one of their electric vehicle models. According to Fortune magazine, the Model Y is $13,000 less than it was before. It's a 20% drop. And the Model S dropped by 14%. Now, a lot of people are absolutely loving this price drop and they're gonna take advantage by swinging in and buying their dream car. But there are also a lot of people who are very disappointed in this move and quite frankly, feel taken advantage of. Some of these customers managed to just miss the price cuts by a matter of weeks, if even that. And some of these customers even feel like they never wanna buy a Tesla ever again because they were treated so poorly by the company. But it's important to remember why this move was made. The Biden administration recently introduced new tax credits for electric vehicles. The problem is they put a cap on the pricing for vehicles that would be eligible. Every single one of Tesla's models were not eligible for the EV tax credit by the government. So to stay competitive and increase sales volume, Elon Musk felt that he had to drop the prices. It very well may have been the only way to stay competitive with all the other major companies. But that's not the only thing that's being cut. As it turns out, Wells Fargo is cutting back on their mortgage business. The semi-sketchy bank decided to announce that they were going to be focusing only on existing customers and borrowers from minority communities. It's important to note that that wording suggests that they may be considering focusing on certain neighborhoods and geographic areas, not restricting mortgages to certain people. This is a move very similar to something Bank of America did recently. But the real question here, is should anybody even trust Wells Fargo? If you haven't been paying attention, they've been in some hot water for a number of years now. The biggest blemish on the record was the 2016 fake account scandal. Not gonna cover that all right now, but if it sounds bad, it's because it is. And then in 2018, they were actually fined by the Consumer Finance Protection Bureau for overcharging on people's mortgages. Oh, but we're not done yet. Last year in 2022, they were also under investigation again by the Consumer Finance Bureau. This time they were being investigated again for mortgages. Does that sound like a company you really wanna get a mortgage from? Oh, but finally, we're still not done, even more. As of now, they are actually still under investigation by the SEC and the Department of Justice. It just does not look good. I mean, once was bad enough, but we're looking at four different investigations, some of which they've actually been caught red-handed in. Yeah, I'm gonna say no, close down the mortgage department. As for why Wells Fargo was making this move, we really don't know. There's probably a lot of things going behind the scenes and they probably wanna keep it that way. But the consumer lending chief for Wells Fargo, Keith Santos, he said, we determined our home lending business was too large, both in terms of overall size and its scope. So if you take their word for it, it means that they grew too big too fast and were not managing things properly. Still, it's a very interesting move to make. Wells Fargo used to be the number one lender in the country for mortgages. Right now they're third, and after these moves, they probably won't even be there anymore. The company themselves has hinted that they are actually changing their entire overall business strategy to focus more on investment banking and credit cards. But with their track record, if you're looking for a credit card from Wells Fargo, I would be very cautious. Well, that's all the news I have for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed this new style of video. I'm hoping to incorporate a few different uh, varieties for you. If you liked what you saw, feel free to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. Until then, I will see you next time.